Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Joey Strike Unbox is back here with another video. And in this video, um, it's my follow up video every Sunday morning. And it, I'm going to be doing game picks. So, yesterday, I know I'm supposed to do my game picks. I um, lost track of time. I was really busy yesterday, and I just couldn't find the time to do it. So, I'm going to do it right now, guys, before we do. And let's get right on into it. So first game, we got the Browns at the Saints. Um, so the Browns, of course, have their tie against the Steelers. Saints are at home. I definitely think the Saints will pull this off. Yes, they lost at home to the Bucks last week, but the the Drew Brees still went off. I mean, for Fitzpatrick was better, but Drew Brees still went off. So I'm gonna go with the Saints in this one. Um, 27 to 10. Next game, guys, we have the Chargers at the Bills. Um, so everybody's so hyped about the Chargers for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, the Bills, of course, got demolished by the Ravens. Um, so this is going to be a decent game. But I actually am going to go with the Chargers in this one. A lot of people think now the Bills are going to be good because... Um, Josh Allen is gonna start. It's not gonna be Nathan Peterman, but I still don't think I still don't think they're gonna be great. So I'm gonna go with the Chargers in this one. 24 to 13. Next game, guys, we have the Chiefs at the Steelers. So I want to talk a little bit about the Steelers. Not much, but they played the complete horse crap last week. I mean, the Ra the Ravens did Thursday, but that's besides the point. The Steelers were really bad. And they almost lost to the Browns. Um, the Chiefs looked decent in their game. I mean, they're one and zero. I didn't really pay attention to them, but they apparently they're one and zero. Um, so I kind of want to go with the Chiefs here. I mean, I don't. And Bell's holding out. It's gonna be Connor again, but I don't think that's gonna hurt him that much. I mean, Le'Veon Bell is really good, but he's slightly, but he's overrated. And I think Chris Connor is really good too. So I'm gonna I don't know. It is in Pittsburgh, but I'm gonna go with the Chiefs in this one. Ben just looked awful against the Browns. He had three picks, maybe even four. So I'm gonna go with the Chiefs in this one. Um 23 to 20. Next game, guys, we have the Colts at the Redskins. Um, the Colts actually were okay last week. I mean, yes, the Bengals outplayed them and they won, but the Colts didn't look terrible. Redskins look pretty good, so I'm going to go with the Redskins. Plus, it's in Washington, so I'm going to go with the Redskins in this one. Um, 24 to 17. Next game, guys, we have the Dolphins at the Jets. So, it's, it's, Hard to believe, but both teams are actually 1-0. and um, I guess this is going to be a decent matchup. I mean, it's not going to be terrible anyway. Um, I It's in New York. I'm going to go with the Jets in this one. I mean, I actually have a bet with my brother. Um, he thinks that the Ravens aren't going to make it, and he thinks the Jets will. So if the uh, Ravens make it, the Jets still, he owes me 20. And if, if it's vice versa, I owe him 20. If they both make it, he owes me 10, because that was the original one. And if none of them make it, I owe him 10. But anyways, guys, I don't want to go with the Jets here, but I'm going to go with the Jets. <laughs> anyways, um, 23-10. to 10. Kind of a slugfest. Next game, guys, we got the Eagles at the Bucks. This, I'd be willing to argue, is a game of the week. Because Ryan Fitzpatrick had the game of his life last last week. I don't care what you guys say. He had the game of his life. But then the Eagles. They, well, they didn't, but the Eagles didn't really play well against the Falcons. I mean, they won 18-12. They didn't really play that well. So, and it's in Tampa Bay, so I am going to go with the Bucks in this one. Um... 27 to 17. No, 27-20. Next game, guys, we got the Panthers at the Falcons. This is gonna be another good game. Um, I think the Falcons will be better after like their worst defeat after like a terrible game uh, against the Eagles in Atlanta in their uh, new stadium. So I'm gonna go. I th I'm, I think I'm gonna go with the Falcons in this one. 
I think they're going to be, they're, of course, both teams are familiar with each other, but I am going to go with the Falcons in this one. I just think that the Panthers are, I mean, yes, they're 1-0, but I don't know that they're going to be spectacular this year. So I'm going to go with the Falcons in this one, 23-21. Um, to 21. Next game, guys, we got the Texans at the Titans. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to go with Tennessee here. I mean, Deshaun Watson was absolutely terrible last week. I mean, the Patriots, yes, it was the Patriots. But, I mean, the Patriots have a great offense. They don't have a spectacular defense. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not spectacular. Um, Deshaun Watson was not good last week whatsoever. Uh, Titans were not great either. I mean, both teams are 0-1, but I'm going to go with the Titans in this one. I just don't see Deshaun Watson being being that good, so I'm going to go with the Titans. I mean, I'm not saying Deshaun Watson's going to be bad the whole season, but I don't think he's going to be spectacular. I'm going to go with the Titans in this one, guys. Um, 24, it seems like I'm not, I always have the same scores for every game, but I'm going to go 24-20. Titans win over, over the Texans. Next game, guys, this is another argument that this is the game of the week. We got the Vikings at the Packers. I mean, good. it's going to be a good game, right? I mean, completely. But the question is, who is going to come out on top of it? Now, the Vikings don't really have a good defense, and the Packers don't have a spectacular defense either. So I think it's going to be it's gonna, just going to be score after score after score. It just who comes out with more points is really going to win. I mean, I don't see, because the Vikings don't exactly have a great defense. I mean, uh, they have a good defensive line. And they, of course, Anthony Barr is a linebacker, but he's a pass rusher. They have a good line. But other than that, their secondary is not that good. So I think I'm going to go, a lot of people actually think the Vikings are going to win. I don't think so, though. I don't see the Vikings being air, a healthy Aaron Rodgers at, in Green Bay. I don't see that happening. So I'm going to go with the Packers in this one, 27-24. It's going to be a one heck of a game. Now. Next game, guys, we have the Cardinals at the Rams. Uh, I'm pretty sure all you guys know what's going to happen here. The Rams are, are good. Cardinals not really. It's in, uh, my bad, L.A., not St. Louis anymore. So I'm going to go with the Rams in this one. Um... 30 to 20. Next game, guys. Oh, that uh the Rams was the the Cardinals Rams was the first 405 game. This is another 405 game. We got the Lions at the Niners. So I kind of want to talk about the Niners a little bit here. Because I play I have Joe Flacco and Jimmy Garoppolo as my QBs for fantasy football. And I played Flacco. I decided to play Flacco. I was dueling all week. I decided to play Flacco, and Flacco was not great. He was okay, but not great. He also had two picks. I mean, the first one was a terrible throw, and the second one he got hit as he threw it, so that's just unlucky. But um, it's in San Francisco, so I don't exactly want Jimmy G to go off, but if he gets another win and he improves the Niners to 1-1, one one, I'm going to be happy, okay? Because the Niners desperately need something good to go their way because right now it's not going well. I mean, they did have a good a good end to the season because of Jimmy G, but other than that, not much. So I'm going to go with the Niners in this one, though, because I don't think the Lions are that good. So I'm going to go Niners here. Um, 23 to 20 in overtime. Next game, guys, this is going to be the game of the week, I think. I mean, I'd be willing to argue that this is the game of the week. We got the Patriots at the Jaguars, dude. What a game this is going to be. Um, I mean, Jaguars, of course, looking for revenge after losing to the Patriots in the uh, AFC Championship game last year. It's in Jacksonville this time. I'm, I'm going to go with the Jaguars here. The Patriots weren't spectacular against the Texans. I mean, yes, they won, but they were at home, and they only won by seven points. It was 27-20, I'm pretty sure. It's in Jacksonville, so I'm going to go with the Jaguars in this one, 24-21. Next game, guys, we got the Raiders at the Broncos. Um, This is going to be another good game. The Broncos looked pretty good against Seattle last week in Denver, so I am going to go with the Broncos in this one, 27-20. Um, uh, 
26 to 20. I'm going to go. It's kind of an awkward score, but whatever, man. So, and then, the, guys, the next game, this is our sun, This is our Sunday night game. We get the Giants at the Cowboys. Um, I hate both teams. It's in Dallas, um, but I think the Giants are going to win. I think the Cowboys absolutely suck, and so does Dak Prescott, and they're super overrated. And my least favorite player in the NFL is on that team, too, so that just kind of adds it. Uh, you know who my least favorite player is, but I'm going to go with the Giants in this one, actually. 17-14. to And, guys, this is our Monday night game, so our last game of the week. We got the Seahawks at the Bears. Um, Seahawks, I mean, they didn't play bad against the Broncos. It's just the Broncos outplayed them a little bit. Uh, Bears, I don't, they were not, I mean, against the, pa oh, you were right, the Bears played the Packers in Green Bay last week. To be honest, I kind of liked what I saw from the Bears. I mean, the Packers pulled off a, an amazing comeback in the second half, but in the first half, they absolutely dominated. And it's, and they're at home, so I'm going to go with the Bears in this one. I'm going to go Bears, um, 23-17. to 17. And, guys, that is going to do it for my game picks. And, yeah, follow up. Um, so, hope you all um, enjoy week two of the 2018 NFL season. And, yeah, so I won't, of course, have any recap because the Ravens already played and I already did the recap there. But this is my last video of the day probably. But I will see you guys again on Friday, maybe not Friday, probably Saturday, and of course definitely Sunday because the Ravens are back at it, but thank you guys so much for watching, you're all a bunch of homies, and yes, I will see you Saturday for my game picks, and hopefully Friday, and guys, have a great week, and I'll see you next weekend, adios guys.